Talk Show. It's a Daily Talk Show, episode 506. And we're at the beach. Mm -hmm. Laguna Beach, more specifically. Uh, This specific one is Aliso Park Mm -hmm. Beach. Well, Laguna Beach is the the area. Is it? Yeah, so so we're in Orange County. I think that the, I don't know if they call it a suburb or what it is, but we're in in Laguna. Yeah, we're in Laguna Beach. Uh If you want to come to this one, if you like the look Mm -hmm. of this, Aliso Park Beach. Uh So um, in the shop behind us. There's one of those, uh, you sh- you banned me from Oceanside going and standing on one of the Lifesavers boxes. Well, specifically, there was a sign saying, please do not stand on it. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, we haven't listened to a lot of stuff uh-huh. this trip. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, last night, Mr. 97, in, in the land of um, the, the free and the great. Uh-huh. Yeah. And oh, it was only- a good evening. Before we get to the good <laughs> evening, I mean, you look like you've had a great, great evening. You've... Uh, are you keeping the cream? Are we planning to never oh, rub still in the cream? cream? There? Yeah, yeah, there's still okay. cream. Okay. I've, I've said 2012 was, was a good year, him. but it was also a year that I came down with a cold sore in mm-hmm. LA. Yeah. And I went to the same CVS to get my Zavirax. Mm-hmm. Like, it's 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 quite triggering, actually, having a cold sore. If, you, if anyone gets cold sores on the live stream, send me mm-hmm. some love if you get them and you know what it's like. Kat has asked me to sing the OC song again, which I think uh, I've done enough <laughs> on oh, this if trip. you want to see that, it's on yeah, Instagram. It, but uh, have you ever watched Laguna Beach? Uh, back in the day. Mm-hmm. Back in the day. So it's just come back out, or is that... Uh, so it's a new one. It's, uh, what is it called? The Hills... Uh, well, so that's Hollywood, so, right? No, so, yeah, so there was Laguna Beach. Yeah. There was Newport Beach, uh, yeah. Newport, sorry, which was another one. Do you know any of these 97? No. Probably not. No, no. You're actually too young. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know who Spencer is? No. Uh, Brody? No. Oh, Lauren Brody Conrad? Jenner. You know Brody Jenner. Lauren Conrad? No. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway, it's, um, yeah, it's an iconic area for reali- like, uh, reality shows uh, around the OC. It was, a, it was a big thing, but the OC yeah. was a, an actual fictional show. I don't know what came first. Mr. 97's confused. A little bit. Define <laughs> fiction. <laughs> the, the not real, the not real section. Um, but no, it, it, it is a, it's, a beautiful, it's a beautiful day here, as, as you two would say. The, yeah, the lifestyle around here, I, I just always look at the really tanned men that are walking mm-hmm. around and I'm just thinking, what do you do? Like yeah. a guy walked up quite close to our vehicle mm-hmm. and his long hair he just looks so beachy yeah very happy very it, calm I mean he's grounded he's yeah. by the water mm-hmm. it's the sun setting it's beautiful yeah if you were looking on Instagram you would have seen uh, our mate Tully Smythe post some uh, content some uh, of the most gorgeous shots yeah of Mr. 97 <laughs> I've ever seen also yesterday she invited us out uh out on the town in we've, Los Angeles yeah so we've had our first LA out on the town experience mm-hmm. which it could be our last uh-huh. Only because we've got a busy week ahead yeah, with filming and videos mm-hmm. and podcasting. Well, I think that what... So we, we record an episode at the Mandrian with... Uh, Mondrian. Mondrian, sorry. Uh, with Tully. And uh, can you smell that smoke, yeah, this, by the way? There's a fire that happening from? somewhere. Oh, there is. Oh, the, one of the best things, Australia... I don't think the Gronks in Australia... Could yeah. could do the right thing. No, no one's putting people. O bikes in them. Yeah, so there's there's pits, there's fire pits that are mm-hmm. made out of big concrete, mm-hmm. like they're a big concrete pit, mm. and they're on the beach. So there was a bunch in Oceanside where we are, and we're just smelling. You could probably see it if you're watching the video. There is um, a fire pit going, mm-hmm. and so we it's, can really. It's smell giving that. me a bit of asthma. But yeah, so uh, we recorded. <laughs> I don't have my pump either. Yeah, this, not at all. Tully, not, help. We need some Ventolin. But yes, yeah, so we record an episode with Tully, which will come out later in the week. But it was our time for Mr. 97 to go out on the town. Mm. And uh, not only that, but I said to Mr. 97 that as a support, it felt uh, a bit rich of me to be not much of a drinker and to then be celebrating and expecting him to get on the piss. Mm. And we know that I don't drink. Yes. So well, been, yeah, this year you This don't. year, this year. And so we decided that... Um, you know, we'll do it together. And I think that Tully was surprised. She assumed that a 29-year-old would be pretty good. Uh, she called it white girl wasted is what she was planning for Mr. 97. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's because that, that sort of depiction of a white girl, skinny, mm-hmm. can have one drink and then just like... Yeah. Like it's in the movies. Uh-huh. It's, it's a classic saying. So, yeah. uh, And Mr. 97, he hasn't really got drunk. Never. Mm-hmm. Ever in your life? No. Actually, Andre from the Coconut Crew has just joined the uh, stream. 
Uh, guys, back to how great I am, says Tully. And Sarah says hello. And that's, just on, that's just on the stream. And so we went to, what was the bar called? EPLP. Uh, and it's uh, it's owned by Grant Aussie. Smiley. Uh, um, and he was a DJ. Oh, I, sp- I spent my youth going to Prince of Wales, the mm. nightclub on Fitzroy Street, watching him, John Course. He was mm-hmm. a part of something called TV Rock. Mm-hmm. And he's gone on to do some amazing things. And he's got one... Uh, a, one of the most pumping bars in yeah. LA. Can we, do you think it's okay to talk now that we've been there? Can we talk about the ID thing, or should we just avoid that completely? Uh, Grant wouldn't be too happy. <laughs> I mean, Grant, yeah, Grant's. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to cover it. All, all that, actually. But, uh, Let's just say there's some differences in laws in different countries. Yeah, and, yeah. and uh, Mr. 97, how was how your How first old are you? No. What year were you born? What year were Late you born? 97. Uh, how old are you? 22. Good one. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, we got through that, but it did involve a bit of pantomime for me, <laughs> and pan- a bit of panic, and, and me saying I don't have Mr. Nine Seven's ID, and, and we ended shaking. up. And I was, I, yes. I was actually shaking. He's a method right. actor. He's been waiting for this moment. Like, his oh whole my life. god! And I, but I could, because I was realising that moment, I'm like, oh my god, I can't lie. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm like, if I look, so I'm just going to go that this is terribly wrong. <laughs> that's sort of the energy that I'm feeling right now. Yeah, anyway, in short. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. You got white girl wasted, Mister Ninety Seven. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he did. Uh, but how was the experience? What what sort of drinks did you have? Uh, what well, what was the first? It was the first one was like fruity. Mm-hmm. Was, mate, I wasn't even drink. I guess I'm one that should you, know. You, yeah, we had a wet pineapple pussy? pineapple vodka. Pineapple. I think mm-hmm. you got, and then you moved into. A wet pussy shot, mm-hmm. which in America is those shots were huge. It yeah, was it's, like, it's half a glass mm-hmm. of alcohol, like a big glass, not a, like a shot glass. No. It was massive. And so you drank half a glass, mm-hmm. and then there was more pineapple uh-huh. somethings. Yeah. Um, and so Tully was saying that she thought that I was um, killing the vibe because <laughs> I kept because I kept talking about being drunk. You, the observation from my side, the yeah. sober side. On you three, the sober side. That could that would be a good memoir. The sober yeah. side. So, it was like so. I got drunk for the first time maybe thirteen or twelve. Yeah, twelve. Probably probably thirteen, and I think it was my brother's twenty twenty first or something like that. Anyway, I remember oh having God, the there's conversation. Dolphins. Is there? Uh, look at look out there where my fingers are pointing. You'll see it to pop them. again. No, no, I know, I know this isn't good for podcasting, but no, give it another three seconds. Okay, three. Right. Oh, there's yes. there dolphins. That's oh. sick. There's That's dolphins, sick. guys. Hang on, hang on. Okay. Anyway, so I remember having conversations with good my spot. other Thanks. 13-year-old friends mm-hmm. who were getting drunk for the first time as well. And the difference is you guys are now fully grown adults. Mm. So it's this wor- weird little, like, giggling, and you were basically <laughs> 13-year-old boys. Yeah. Well, uh, Jake, uh, homeboy Jake, was asking um, what sort of personality was Mr. 97. Uh, we called it. We said that he'd be louder than normal, mm-hmm. um, but he's a sweetheart, so he's not going to... He's not angry. Mm-hmm. I've never seen him angry. Do you even get angry? Not that often. When was the last more, time you more got angry? angry. At someone else, or it's it's usually at myself. It's never really at other people. No, he's hard on himself. I get it. Mate, it actually makes a lot of sense. I get angry at you too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so Tommy, we uh, we sat down. We're having these uh, these drinks. Uh, they they were delicious, and so we probably had four four drinks <laughs> when uh, Mister Nine Seven started need, needing to go to the toilet. Mm. Oh yeah, I mean. If Gemma's on the live stream, mm-hmm. uh, she's probably going to be cringing. She would have had the uh, the conversation around breaking your seal mm. years I'd ago. So this is the shit. Before. I haven't thought about this shit. And so, what does it mean to so break long. your seal? Breaking your seal. It's like when you when you first start drinking, and if you if you pee, mm-hmm. if you feel the urge to pee, and yeah. you do it, there's no coming back from uh-huh. it. You'll continue needing to pee all the time. It was a night of breaking seals <laughs> for Mr. 97. <laughs> yeah. Tully has actually just said, 97 was sitting on my lap at some point, wasn't he? <laughs> yes, he was. We were playing a game that Tully had on her phone that would sort of <laughs> encourage us all to drink by saying, okay, you need to either take your top off or take four sips. <laughs> it was a drinking game. And so some of the, so you'd put your, the people in, in the space, so you, there's mm-hmm. four of us, you'd put Mason, Josh, Tully, Tommy into mm-hmm. this app mm-hmm. and then it would randomise and pick 
two names. So uh, one of them, I mean, I wasn't even drinking. This is how much I was <laughs> putting into the team. I it said, Tommy, lick Mason's elbow. Yeah. <laughs> and you did. Yeah. Mate. Mm-hmm. Went in LA. <laughs> and so, Went in LA sober. And so it was, yeah, there was a bit of criticism that I was, because I was worried that 97 could potentially have been looking wasted and I yeah. was worried about liquor laws and being I mean, I didn't feel out. it. You, so what was the feeling? Describe the feeling. <sighs> Every, everything was spinning. Like uh-huh. a little, I think. Kylie Minogue style. <laughs> it was, it's, it felt like, I guess, like a bit like vertigo. Uh-huh. Like you're just, you don't really know what's happening. It's hard to focus. Everything's blurred and in slow mo. The thing is, what you guys were so transfixed, and it's like you're just adults. You know how to articulate words and explain what's happening to you mm-hmm. more so than a 13 year old boy who's or girl who's just smashed a few wet pussies. <laughs> so the yeah, you were wanting to get into the weeds of the feeling, but the the thing is people who drink uh-huh. they don't they don't, don't talk about they it. don't talk about that and they also you lean into it so if you can't walk you can't walk you're just trying <laughs> to walk so it becomes i've got to get to the bathroom yeah. so and that's, my all, panic I, that's was, all on my mind yeah. i did a, i felt like i was doing a lot of whispering to you like <laughs> i don't know if i'm going to be able to walk <laughs> or other things but i also i think i was respectful because i remember saying multiple times i'm like just tell me if I'm being annoying, <laughs> which I actually don't do in real life. I, know, I wish so, you did, but I, and I didn't even say you were annoying yeah. ever. I, was no, like, no, I appreciate you're right. that. I, it would be rich for a guy who had s- some good years on the booze. <laughs> so the first time you don't drink with your mates, just been an absolute sook about it. <laughs> I, you, you, I know. I've told you the story. One time I was fly kicking a metal door, mm-hmm. um, and James, conspiracy Jimmy, mm-hmm. sent me a text message the next morning and said, "Mate." Too that far. was horrible. You yeah. took, you took, it. and I was, I felt so bad. <laughs> but it just all hits you as soon as you open your eyes in the morning. <laughs> what did I do? And did you have any of that this morning? Oh, mm. Mason did. Yeah, you Mason Sevs. No, oh, well, I mean, it was not not panic or anything like that. It was just, <laughs> it was just foggy, and my my eyebrow hurts because I I think I walked into a door. <laughs> <laughs> there is a bruise. There yeah, is a little bruise. Yeah, let's have a look. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It looks like you've had an eyebrow piercing or something. Yeah. I mean, well, so I thought I was going to clear it. Uh-huh. I, thought yeah. I, I thought I had heaps of room. Well, it's, you know, you hear Dutch courage. <laughs> it comes out in the weirdest way. So for me, I'm not like, even though I'm a vegetarian, don't like mushrooms that much. All the food was delicious. And even mushroom, everything, I was oh, yeah. just eating it. I was like, Eggplant this was is great. None of, like any textures that I wasn't a fan of. I it was anyway. 100% fine. Yeah. It was delicious food. I, st- I tell you what, Tully had some great advice and it was mostly directed to Mr. 97. Yeah. because well, she, I, The more drunk she got, the more advice she was giving <laughs> as well, which is great. But the advice uh, around the eating, so if you go out mm-hmm. and, you know, we're in a group setting, but I think she felt like she needed to assist you along because it was your first time in mm-hmm. going out to this and you, you're quite specific about the foods you eat. And her advice is just, if someone brings something out, depending on your yeah, dietary yeah, requirements, yeah. if you're mm-hmm. allergic, don't. Yeah, yeah. Did you eat, eat meat last night? No, no, no. You did No, no, no. I think I'll Tommy was slightly annoyed that maybe the taste, like, I know that I've been to um, Chin Chin before and been with a vegetarian, and there's always the concern that you could be jibbed the good <laughs> meat based on them trying to cater for the whole table? No, they catered for you. They, ca- mm-hmm. they, they did us fine. I think you walked away having eaten half of what I, I Tully did. said, I swear I didn't eat anything. <laughs> That's so <laughs> true. I kept on trying to bully yeah. Tully into eat. I was like, mate, you got to eat something. <laughs> I ate her dessert. <laughs> <laughs> it was delicious. I remember the funny thing is I'm like, I can't just... I can't be the guy that just eats Tully's dessert. Yeah. So I'm like, hey, let's share it, Tommy. And then you had like the tiniest bit. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, thanks. What <laughs> was dessert? I can't even remember dessert. You ate it though. It was, what it was really it? yum. Uh, a it coconut had a cr- pudding. Oh, it was really... There was a coconut pudding there. Yeah, mate. Mm-hmm. It was lovely. Yeah, it was really... Uh, it, to, to rate the night, Mr. 97, out of 10, mm-hmm. for you, mm. you know, a lot of firsts going on there. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Prod, <laughs> um... <laughs> Mm-mm. Not uh, eight or nine out of ten. Eight or nine. Eight or nine. What would have made it a ten? <laughs> uh, be honest. Yeah. What? What was? What didn't meet your expectations, and what did? What were the really great bits? Start with the great bit. What surprised you? It was. It was just. It was. It was fun. It, it was fun being around everyone. Like, you. For, you forget. 
you don't have any anxieties or any worries about anything. Mm-hmm. It's like you're present and you're sort of like taking everything as it comes. So you're sort of just like in a state where you're just not worrying about anything. And that's, I was unexpected. It's intoxicating, isn't it? Because I almost, I realize why I don't drink because in those moments I'm like, why don't I do this all the time? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, it, yeah. if I could be at this default state, yeah, it's but amazing. then you're like all of a sudden doing that within the context of an office like a workplace on a Monday. <laughs> doesn't yeah, that's what it's gone yeah. to. So far. you like the the it's an anti anxiety drug. What yeah. are, what was what were the things that didn't live up to the expectation? I, I don't. Th- I well, mean, because I, did, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't dance at all. We yeah. probably being yeah. at a, a event, yeah, that would have been fun. At a, being at a venue that uh, is owned by Grant. I would have assumed some fucking... We went back upstairs and there was uh-huh. a DJ that started cranking. Well, we, we did, left in fairness, yeah. leave at 10. Yeah. It was before 10. Okay. We walked out of those doors and so mm-hmm. it's only just starting to... To pump. To pump. Mm-hmm. No, I get that. Yeah. So anyway, good night out, boys. Yeah. yeah. Good night. And so um, this morning we... Uh, yeah, we got up. I was fine. My tactic... <clears throat> Uh, don't drink any water <laughs> so I don't have to get up and piss during the night. Yeah. This is the kind of bullshit I'm hanging around with. But it worked brilliantly. <laughs> I didn't need to go to the toilet once. I woke up at 8 o'clock. I, I pissed so much. Yeah, and so you were... You woke up. I felt like you were maybe mild panic attack because you were out the front. When I came out of my bed, mm. you were out the front with your top off doing like stretches and, and you actually I was, I was doing a workout mate, he had a what? fucking great night well, I was <laughs> <laughs> He's, the confidence is still within him yeah, you'll I don't know com- where I mean, he got that confidence from I, mean, I, think, I think that the thing was that the I was worried because it was like 8am and you had decided to be obnoxious with this uh, exercise that required you to clap Every oh. time. And so he was clapping. I'm like, he's going to fucking wake up the neighbours with that clap. It was 8 o'clock in the morning. On a Sunday. Yeah, it's fine. No, it was clap push-ups. It wasn't that loud. Okay. <laughs> um, Tommy up. <laughs> Have you seen any more dolphins, Josh? No, no no more dolphins. But the This is magical. The, it's, um, it's the sun is beautiful. almost... Oh, look at it. Yeah, look at it over Almost there. Oh, right Scooter down. Derek has joined us. Uh, hey, so we, we are uh, live streaming. I'm so sorry, uh, Derek, because... Uh, Derek asked, hey guys, mm. I want to watch your Instagram live streams, but I just need, uh, I need pre-warning. Need a bit of warning. And so we pre-warned, but then we realized that I'd fucked up the um, sunset by an hour. Yeah, and imagine so if we waited. It would literally be going yeah, yeah. pitch black. It's, it's, already, it's already sinking right it, now. It's getting dark. We're, we're going to have to pull the pin quite soon. Um, the moon is out. It is lovely. Um, this, this gives me panic in this, th- with these shorts I've got on. Why? Because... The, when I was year seven, mm-hmm. they used to give us these exercise shorts for PE class. Sure. And remember how, like, some pants have shorts inside, uh, undies inside of yeah, them? Yeah, yeah. Which I don't like. Well, you can either, you've got two options. You either wear underwear mm-hmm. and double up. Yeah. Or you... You free ball. Free ball, but... They're in ca- like they've in got. Case, yes. They're encased. You've got. <laughs> you got you've got a yeah, little yeah. support. Uh-huh. And so there was a one. There was one time, in some kind of sporting that we we're doing, all sitting around in a circle, and I had my legs up like oh, this. No. And I just remember this group of girls, these young, you know, the same same age as me, all year <laughs> seven. But what I was meaning, I was thinking about yeah, yeah. young girls and how they're like giggly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were all look, doing that, and yeah. I, they look over and they're just like pointing down. I've just got this. Little nut, <laughs> and it was little. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's not ideal. And so these shorts remind you of that. No, oh, mate, I'm, that's why I've just been thinking about it. Uh-huh. But I've I've doubled up here. Yeah. I've got. Um, okay, they've got undies. I mean, yeah. a bunch of firsts for Mister Ninety Seven uh, last night. First for a long time for you was driving uh, in the US today. How'd you find the experience? Oh, for me, yeah. yeah. First time on this trip, yeah. I mean, so the last time, well, because the last. 2012, last time great, was 2012. Year. great year. Drive. Great I drove, year. We drove. But past. I did think about it. I was thinking about. It. I was like, when you start driving, I'm like, fuck. That was. Uh, I've driven every year in the US since. Yeah. T- 2012. Yeah, but I drive. The, the only the difference is on the other side. So, th- I think it was an easy start. Uh-huh. I drove on a, onto a highway, so mm-hmm. through some yeah. sort of like a little town in onto the highway. It's once you get into the into it. Mm-hmm. It's it's. I think it's when you're getting into sort of downtown or you're mm-hmm. trying to navigate left and right which you've mm-hmm. done a lot of you've been mm-hmm. killing it so oh, thank you I, uh, but have you enjoyed that i mean how does it change a travel 
thing for you? Do you enjoy being behind behind the wheel? Do you like road trips? Yeah, it makes it feel like it's it's more. It makes me feel that it's more like back home. Yeah. You're doing shit. You're not just getting carted around, mm-hmm. and chauffeured, which yeah. has been lovely the last mm-hmm. couple of days. And so honest. we uh, we took the uh, the highway. We went from West Hollywood, stopped up at stop stopped off at CVS. Got you your uh, cream. Zavirax. Why do why do they keep Zavirax in a sealed thing? Well, I don't know. Over here, it's it's eighteen dollars, mm-hmm. and maybe it's just a cost thing. Mm-hmm. But it's it's not a prescription mm. medication. They no, just no, because there's wine, there's wine there that's more expensive. Yeah, true. Bottles, no. But then they've got security tags on top of them, so maybe it's that they they're not an item. So what they do over here is they lock off the end of the hanger, so the end of the thing where you so it goes through the packet ah, yes. and you pull them off, and so maybe it's just too much to put protection things on each packet. No, I get yeah. That. And so anyway, I bought it, mm-hmm. and it's you have to ask someone. Yes, I need Zavar. You know. That's yeah, fine. I got a cold. Yeah, but there's a lot of anxieties wrapped up in that. Oh, yeah. Well, and so looking we at it. Are you looking at my cold sore? No, I mean, you can't even you can't even see it because your beard's like covering it. So okay. I mean, perfect. the good thing is it felt like the perfect time to also for us to get our own chapsticks, no longer sharing. Mm. <laughs> Don't you think? <laughs> As your laughing boys. cream just came off your face. <laughs> that's fine. No, that's fine. Um, so you were, yeah, you were very much uh, Mate, I think it's sold on this coconut ointment that you were using. Yeah, it's it's better than the chapstick, to no, be honest. I think that, what do you think, Mace? My chapstick's been great. Oh, I'm loving it. Loving it. I've cherry? got like a cherry flavor, cherry chapstick. Real Laguna um, Beach very chat. Katy Perry. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was great. Um, and so, no, we went to CVS, got a few snacks, went to Whole Foods, got some uh, uh, peanut butter cups and all, all different types of things like that. And then we uh, went on the road and we, we, drove, we actually drove past Laguna and then went to, uh, what was it called? Ocean... Oceanside. Are you, Oceanside? Oceanside or Ocean View? It's Oceanside. Oceanside. Okay. I said Ocean View before, oh, okay. I'm sorry. And so we walked out on the pier and, and it's one of those, if any any kind of movie that's set by the beach in California, mm-hmm. you're seeing the big pier high up. They're quite high, the piers mm-hmm. over in LA, in Los Angeles, along the California. coastline, Californian yeah. coastline. Mm-hmm heavy duty and so people surfing below the pier this place is just it's weird because I think we grow up here look there's a bus OC like you <laughs> wait, grow up seeing all this shit on telly uh-huh. and then it's it's very much like it is we mm-hmm. just had a lovely guy came up and spoke to us yeah the thing is a lot of people come up and speak to you in and this they're, town they're not all crazies <laughs> like he was lovely like you just assume that someone's going to come up and have a chat to a stranger and say, hey, I need a show reel done that it's going to be a bit of full of shit. Well, but what a, last night we were speaking to a guy were we? in an Uber. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Karaoke legend on Instagram. We'll give him a shout out. And uh, he... Uh, he's done 26,000 dri- <laughs> Uber drives. Yeah, he's done a lot of Uber drives. That's uh, so dri- 26,000. 26,000. Yeah, but he was on uh, American Idol. Oh, hi, Daniel, by the way. Uh, hey, Michelle. And uh, uh, also, hey, Derek, who are on the Instagram live stream. Yeah, but he was, uh, first off, he was frustrated. So he's, he's an actor, singer, karaoke legend. And uh, he was driving and his Uber app wasn't working. And he was really angry. He was saying, basically, I'm not going to make any money. Yeah. Well, he, if we he'd don't already fix this. started driving. So we got in it and he hadn't activated it. So I haven't seen this happen in Melbourne. Have no, you? Have no, you? No, no, no. And so, and so it obviously I mean, wasn't you, connecting to my my drive, mm-hmm. and so it was like he started driving. So in fairness, he's literally just being a chauffeur for free right yeah. now. And so he was getting a bit angry about that. But then uh, we asked him, "Have you?" He said, "What have you worked on, or whatever?" He said, oh, "A lot of commercials." I said, "Have you had a favorite line or piece of dialogue?" And he goes, oh, "I could, I can do impersonations." And so he <laughs> started doing a bunch of impersonations. He did the Joker. Was it? Was that the, the Joker? You did the Joker and um, some other guy. We didn't know. I didn't the name know of that. Him. Yeah, I was sort of hoping for sort of more popular characters. But we laughed. Mm-hmm. We we, we yeah, gave yeah, it. We you him. gave it a real good laugh. Yeah. And I said to you after, were, were you just giving him some? I was or? supporting. Yeah. I mean, but, but, but did you find it funny? Oh, I found the whole thing funny. Yeah. <laughs> and but the thing is, yeah, yeah. were you laughing at the situation? No, I was, or yeah, his I was accent? laughing. No, oh, no, I was laughing at just like his impersonation. Here's a guy who's driving us in an Uber, who's like, he's taking both hands off the wheel as he's doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like driving, he's not holding the wheel and he's doing impersonations. I think that's really fucking funny. 
<laughs> anyway, that was funny. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's been great in uh, LA. We nearly went to San Diego, but then we um, we just uh, yeah, yeah we, we, we decided that we have to back come back for a while. Uh, and so uh, yeah, but t- tomorrow uh, we, we've got uh, Targa. I think uh, hopefully uh, on the show hopefully if yeah so we've got a bunch of guests like uh, this has been us kind of settling in getting mm-hmm. our chats our mm-hmm. conversations uh, like exploring and sharing that with you but we're yeah. going to start slowly over the next couple of weeks yeah. rolling out we've got Reese Mitchell mm-hmm. uh, who's I can't wait to say I haven't seen him in months yeah, he's yeah. my best mate that and I Targa, Targa Sahun uh, she is a creative producer at Capitol Records and she yeah. looks after all the uh music videos for Katy Perry and Halsey she, yeah and so it's uh, oh my it's god a good there's chat. a huge huge bird yeah no they're um, seagulls but they're just like super sized seagulls uh-huh. here. <laughs> look at but he's, looking, he's gonna shit on me <laughs> he's absolutely gonna shit on okay, me okay well we better go uh, any other thoughts on 87 LA yeah. fact of the day do and one on the spot LA fact of the day mm-hmm. this is a good good producer he's got his notes up in 2001, a man from LA upset with the poor exit signage on the 110 freeway modified an overhead sign under the cover of night. The California Department of Transportation investigated it, approved of the workmanship, and let it stay up for eight years. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so good. I appreciate that a Wouldn't lot. In the legend. LA Times. <laughs> hey, um, guys, I know, uh, like, this trip is about sort of pushing the boundaries for you, you sure. two. Uh-huh. This is very much what I would just do after this. I know what you're going to do. Go Can we go the and water. sit down? No, no, no. Go and sit down with the people at the fire. Just with chat. the people? Are there people there? There's people. Someone said it. Someone. They're not gas fires. <laughs> they're real fires. Can we just go and hang out? Nah. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. No, I think, like, I'd, love to, I'd, love to, I'd love to go for a walk. All right, you I'll go for a walk. Water. Yeah, I'm going to go for go a swim. Water. No, no, walk. You walk, go for walk, a walk. Oh, I'm going to go for a swim and then go sit by the fire. Okay. How well, good? Oh, that? yeah, that's a good idea. Mace, I'll, no. I'll, yeah, I'll do whatever you want. I'm going to listen to a podcast, go for a walk. I'm going to walk as far as I can go, and then come back and let's <laughs> let's uh, meet back here at six. Six in an hour. All, All right. right, it's the Daily Talk Show. Okay. Hi at thedailytalkshow.com is the email address. We are on Instagram, obviously, the Daily Talk Show. Thanks to everyone who's been uh, uh, watching on here. Uh, any earthquakes, boys? Asked no. Jake. No. Hopefully not. Uh, not Daniel not. says you're one of my favourite podcasts. Thank you, Daniel. Thanks, Dan. Uh, and that's about it. Kroger, thanks for joining. Kay Sheedy, thank you. Chompomatic, mate. Hello. Uh, <laughs> and uh, everyone else for joining. Uh, it's a daily talk show. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Have a good one. See ya.